Hello and welcome back to John R. Prospecting. Uh, so as you guys could see, we are going to be going through a pay dirt that I got a while back from Vendetta Prospecting. Um, so I've actually had this uh, for a couple of months. Uh, back to when he was selling his summer love pay dirt uh only reason why i'm doing it now is yeah i i got so much pay dirt to go through it's not even funny um but there's three grams of gold so i wanted to get this gold in the gold case before we get done closing out the one for the first year with the first 50 that i'm trying to fill so that's why I decided to let's add some more gold to it. So, um, let me go get a tub, which I got right here. And we are going to take a look at the material from the Summer Love Pay Dirt from Vendetta Prospecting. So, let's open it up. It is heat sealed, too. Take a look at this dirty material. Yeah, very dirty material. Looks like I'm going to have to classify it as well. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of gold already. As you can see that big flake there. Nice little chunky piece there. But awesome. Pour out some more. More gold. I just covered some of it up. Very nice. Nice and chunky gold. That's the way it looks like. Yeah, we're going to pour it all out. So I am going to have to classify this material. We're going to make sure we get all the material out. All right. Looks like I got all the material out of the bag. Yep. As best as I can. So... Um, like I said, we are going to have to classify the material, so I have another tub here, and let's classify, I guess we'll start off with the plus 10 material, and just because I know there is a little bit bigger more rocks in there, and, or some bigger rocks in there, and I know it'd be easier if I get at least the plus 10 out. So, let's start classifying it. In fact, I'm going to classify this material. Uh, when I get done, I'll uh, bring you guys right back. Alright, so I got everything classified. Um, so, here is the plus 10 classification stuff. That was the plus 10. Um, not too sure if I saw any gold in here. I really wasn't looking when I did this uh, classification on this material. But I remember that one big flake. And I don't know if it actually stayed in the plus 10 or if it went through to the minus 20. So that looks like. There is, uh, and here's another one. Look at that. So there is gold in this classification. There's one piece, and then there's the second piece. So at least we know there is gold in this. That is very cool. Uh, here is the 20 classification. Here's the plus 20 classification. And I was seeing a lot of gold in here. 
Um, so I do know there's gold in here, but yep. Yeah. I just saw a wiry piece of gold. See, you can see all the gold there, 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 here, 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 a couple of pieces down in there. So, there is gold in this stuff, uh, classification, definitely. This classification is the minus 20. Um, not too sure if there's any gold in here. I think there is. I'm pretty sure there was when I was classifying it. Uh, but the only way to find out where most of the gold is, or how to find all the gold, is to actually pan everything out. So, we're going to pan the minus 20 material first. So, I have my pans i just gotta go get some water and so we can start panning so let me go get some water let me go get all set up uh when i get done setting up uh we'll be right back all right as you guys can see i got some water in my pan and in the catch pan and the only thing we need to do is to add some jet dry uh so the small gold or very fine gold doesn't flow. All the bigger stuff will mostly sink under the water, but yes, small, tiny, tiny gold will flow. So like I said, we are going to go through the minus 20 material first. So let's just, uh, you know what? I forgot to do this. Let's actually take a magnet and see if there's any magnetics to this. Yeah, there's a nice amount. So, yeah, there's a, a decent amount of magnetics in here. I mean, of course, it came from Vendetta. So, now we know there's mag magnetics, we're going to pour some in and pour some in. I don't know how hard this material is, so I guess we'll do about that much. And we'll start panning it out. If it seems uh, not that hard, we'll add more in the next time. Nice, dirty material. Of course, it came from Vendetta. Like I said, he is a Arizona native, so he gets his material right from the uh, gold claim. So, and throughout Arizona, goes and makes awesome prospecting videos. He was just at the Yuba River. Awesome channel. Uh, he also has a Patreon, so if you want to join up with Vendetta Prospecting's Patreon, uh, he just had his uh, November live show, and yes, he gives away gold at his live show, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if you sign up for his uh, $25, $50, or higher, every month you'll receive a bag of pay dirt in the mail. And if you're also a $50 subscriber, you'll get a copper channel round. But if you're a $100 subscriber per month, he'll send you a silver uh channel round so i think those are awesome um i like the silver one a lot the copper one is is nice as well uh 
Uh, you could check out his uh, website. He's always coming out with uh, new pay dirts. I just saw that he posted his uh, nugget bucket again on his website. And yes, there is gold in here. So let's check it out. So let's uh, zoom you guys in. There is the, I believe, five pieces of gold that we just got from that pan. One, two, three, four, five. That is awesome. So you got that one nice bigger piece. Is probably the bigger one. Looks like some wiry gold there. So, all right, let's zoom you guys back out so I don't forget. I've done that before where I would uh, zoom in and <laughs> I, I would forget that you guys are zoomed in. So I wanted to make sure I had you guys zoomed out while I was looking at the, the screen. We're going to suck this gold up. All right. And... I'm going to go back through this material, just what's in the pan, and just make sure that I did not leave any gold behind. Nope, looks like I got it all. Yeah, we got it all. So now we are going to pour a little bit more material in there. As you can see, this stuff floating on top of the water. And see how it kind of moves and breaks up a little bit when I pour the jet dry in there. So I added a little bit more material than last time. We're going to see if we could pan this stuff out. That water is getting nasty. Getting dirty. Yeah, it's kind of like the perfect title. Summer Love, man. Only wish it was still summer outside. So I guess we're saying, uh, we're officially saying goodbye to summer here. Uh, this past week here, uh, it's been actually kind of warm. So it felt like uh, winter came for a day or two. Then it was mostly spring and fall. Then we had our summer week. And now it's like going back to fall weather, so... Halloween was just uh, last week. So. All right. So I think I'm going to pan out the rest of this material. We're going to come back when I get all this material panned out. We shall be right back. All right. So I just got done panning that one pan's worth of material. I uh, wanted to bring you guys back and show you the nice pile of gold that I got. So, here we go. Take a look at that. Wow. That was a nice amount of gold. Look at all that gold. Nice amount. Awesome. A lot of small little pieces up in there. So, look at all of that. So, 
very cool. Let's zoom you guys back out. I also wanted to mention that this painter was available for a very short time. Uh, I was glad I was able to pick one of them up. Uh, I may have even bought the last one because it felt like I went on there, I bought it, and then I went back on and it felt like it said sold out. So I believe I may have been the last one to buy this or very close to being the last one. So uh, he only had 30 of these bags available for sale. Just wanted to go back through this material and check it. So I had to, I, I had to buy one. Yeah, no more gold. So I'm gonna actually go through it one more time, a little bit slower. But in fact, uh, I got this much material left. I'm gonna finish panning all of this material and when I get done panning all of this material, uh, when I have a little smile at the end of the panning, I'll bring you guys back and show you how much gold that we found. We'll be right back. All right, I am back. As you can see, I got all the plus 20 material, or sorry, I got all the minus 20 material panned out i did not suck any of the gold up in the snuffer bottle when i got done panning it so this right here is all the gold that was in the rest of the material in the minus 20. so let's actually show you the big area of gold. I'm not going to say smile because it's not in a smile, but it's all kind of like laid out. So let's actually zoom you guys in and take a look at it up close. There you go. Look at all that gold. That is a lot of gold. There has to be well over a gram there. But that is awesome. So, there's a lot of wiry pieces of gold in here too. I've seen it. Uh, there is quite a bit of them. They're scattered throughout this. So... Very awesome. Zoom you guys back out. All right. So now we are going to snuff up the gold with all the other gold that's in the bag. Lots of gold, holy cow. Now, I don't know how much of this gold was naturally occurring gold, but I'm pretty sure this material came from a natural source that had gold in the ground, so... Uh, I believe Vendetta Prospecting did post a video on this of where he got the material. So if I could find it, I will definitely 
leave a link for that video in the description below. So I'm just going to go through this material, the stuff that was in the pan, one more time. Just to make sure I did not lose any of the gold. Because all gold matters. Tell you one thing, I'm definitely going to have to wash out my pan. There's a ton of uh, hematite in this. And that stuff right there is a pain. It's that fool's gold looking like stuff, but it's not. It doesn't have that goldish color. It's more of like a silver color. Because I keep seeing a couple specks. And I don't know if it's hematite or if it's gold. All right. So I am done cleaning all that up, making sure there was no more. I did actually find two tiny little specks of, I think is gold. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I sucked them up anyway. Yeah, that hematite is some um, nasty stuff to pan, so. All right. Moving right along, we are going to pan out the uh, plus 20 material now. And this is some more, some pretty dirty stuff. So let's start panning it out. And again, I think I'm just going to pan it off camera. This way the video don't get too long. So, on that note, I shall be right back when I get done panning all of this material. All right, I am back. I just got done panning all of the uh, plus 20 classification. So now, let's show you all of that plus 20 gold. Nice, chunky gold. Let me get the rest of the water off the pan here. So, here's that nice chunky gold that I was panning out. Um, as you guys could see, some nice wiry pieces. There was one right there. This guy right there. Uh, a little bit of that one, but not really. Uh, so, yeah. So, now let's uh, zoom you guys in and show you the gold up close. Look at those. And, yes, I could pick some of these up. So, some of these are pickers, which is awesome. So, very cool. Some of this gold, like that one, is very dirty. So, that is awesome. And then, same thing with this one up here on top. So, that piece and that piece are, like, really dirty. So, I know it's... Uh, Either gold that he has found, or it's just dirty. Not cleaned, which is awesome. So, but yeah, let's uh, zoom you guys back in. So now, we are going to actually see how much of this stuff will go up the uh, snuffer bottle. In fact, you know what? We'll just take this gold and put it directly in the metal cup here so let me actually go ahead and do that and i shall be right back all right so we got all that plus 20 gold 
in our cup here. There you go. So, that is awesome. Uh, we will actually leave that down here. Um, so now, we're going to pan out this material. So let's actually pan it out. And uh, when I get done painting this material, we'll be right back and do the uh, snuffer dump. All right. So, as you guys could see, I got all that material panned out for the plus 10. So now let me show you the gold that we got from the plus 10 material. So here you go. Here's one. Love that sound. And two. Two pieces of very nice chunky gold. So now let me get the rest of the water out of this and let's uh Zoom you guys in on the two chunky pieces of gold. Look at that. Very awesome. Nice character. Very cool. I will uh, have some pictures of the gold at the end of the video. So please stay and check those out. All right. Let's zoom you guys back out. So now, we're going to actually take these two pickers and put them in with the gold from the plus 20. There we go. And we're going to clean out our pan here. And I went already th through this twice, and I did not see any uh, other gold in there. So... Clean out our pan. So, let's do our uh, snuffer dump. And let's see our total gold that we caught. So, let me move this out of the way here. All right. So, we're doing our snuffer dump. Again, this is all the minus 20 gold. Nice pile of gold. All right, let's make sure there's no more gold in this. Rinsing it out. No, no more. And let's just give this a once over. Probably no gold anyway. All right. So now let me uh, clean this gold up here and we shall do a snuffer dump. So I'm gonna clean this up. Uh, we'll be right back when I clean it up. All right, so as you guys could see, I got the gold actually dried up. Um, I actually forgot to record the snuffer dump, uh, but I did do the, uh, I did clean all the gold. Uh, so let's just show you the gold that we got from the Vendetta Summer Love 3 gram bag. Look at all that gold. That is a lot of gold. Check that out. Like the whole bottom of the cup there is full of gold. So, we're actually going to get our scale, which I have right here. And we're going to weigh the gold up from this bag of pay dirt. So let's get everything ready here. Uh, so let's turn it on. 
make sure you guys could see. And I can't forget about this. That's the gold case. So let's open it up. And in fact, I already wrote down what we're going to call this bag. I got it at Vendetta Prospecting Summer Love with no grams. So we are going to be filling that out today. So uh, let's weigh the gold. We're going to zero that out. And now we're going to weigh all of this gold. So let's weigh it up. A lot of nice chunky gold in this bag too. We're at almost three grams. We already passed three. We're at 3.13. And look at all the gold that's left. That's a nice amount of gold still. Even fine gold, it all adds up. So, no more gold. And as you guys could see, holy cow, 3.320 grams of gold. Wow, that is a nice pile of gold. So, I went ahead and I got the 36th gold jar out. Uh, we are going to be putting the gold in the jar. Here's the jar with no gold. Here's the top. So now we're going to put that gold in there. Um, actually, first, I need to write down the weight. So we are going to write down 3.320 grams. And let's show you what I wrote down. 3.320 grams. 3.320 grams. So now, as you guys can see, I already got my gold jar cleaned up. And it is the right one. It's the 36th jar. So we are going to put our gold in there. Right. Now we're going to put the top on it. Make sure it's closed all the way. And there we go. There is the gold from the Vendetta Summer Love Bag of Pay Dirt. Uh, that is awesome. Nice amount of gold. So, 14 more bags. So I hope uh, I will have some pictures of the gold at the end of the video. Um, don't forget, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, we're getting closer to 500 to do that giveaway. So don't forget. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. Because I have a lot of awesome paydirts coming. So, um, so please like, share, subscribe. And let's keep doing this. Uh, like I said, we got 14 more bags to go. So until my first year is done with uh, doing bags. So I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. And have a good one. Thank you all for watching.